this is Matt McNeil and I'll be starting the So Red series on YouTube for a gardening video series, possibly something else depending on how I feel and if I can find any comrades online. So let's get to looking at the garden and seeing what I have to work with to start off. Alright so I do have a raised bed garden and I'll be recording this first video without a wireless microphone so we'll see how that works out. So here's the raised bed garden. There are plenty of pots and containers surrounding the place. Some are filled with things, some aren't. So I just built this bed the other day. Um, it's probably five days old and I haven't seen any germination of the seeds I've planted yet but we will see something soon enough. Oh yeah, I'm using pine needles and shredded paper as my mulch mainly. I'm sure someone has something to say about how dangerous the paper is. Um, I tend to think it isn't. Anyways, I have tomatoes mainly planted in the other sections. I have some nopals right here. I planted these about three months ago, maybe a bit less, and one is already starting to bud right there. So anyways, we have tomatoes and peppers here. Uh, the tomatoes are getting pretty big. They're all, well, some are caged, some aren't. Uh, these pots have nothing in them right now. I'm waiting for some germination. There's quite a mixed variety of things. I think they're all adequately moist, so that shouldn't be a problem there as to why there's been no germination over the past, I'd say, week now. Um, but it gets highly windy here, so some of the cages fall over, so I've just let the tomatoes basically grow on their own with uh, a little bit of a prop from a PVC pipe. Along the back you'll also see a trellis that's more or less not being used in, I don't know, two-thirds of the garden. Unfortunately things just didn't grow in the back, I didn't water enough, and it's kind of late in the season and I don't really care anymore. Um, I'll be moving soon enough probably too, so that does away with anything I want to do there. But I do have cucumbers there. Uh, phew, tomato jungle over here. This plant right here is, um, it's not quite six feet tall, but I'd say it's maybe five and a half. Uh, this video is being recorded on July 16th. So for another, I don't know, two or three months to go, it can get to eight feet tall, no problem. However, it's been mainly growing and not enough fruit production because I've been too heavily concentrated on nitrogen use through uh, a homemade fertilizer. Um, here you'll see our first potted plants producing something, okra, should be okra at least, I'm pretty sure I planted that there. Uh, it's basically a pumpkin patch over here, I, uh, it was kind of a mistake with this pumpkin and also potatoes that more or less have taken over. Um, but in these containers here I have a lot of cow peas planted. I'm really looking forward to these getting bigger as you can eat the cow peas just as green beans and the leaves can also be steamed and eaten that way too. So the pumpkin has pretty much grown everywhere. You can see a nice looking orange pumpkin right there. Uh, and there's quite a few other pumpkins that are growing here too. I believe there are two different pumpkin vines that sprouted up and they're different um, cultivars. One's a white pumpkin and one is the orange. Honestly, this was just a random thing. It was an incomplete compost pile that I was forced to lay down out in this garden when I started it in January. And some seeds just germinated and grew into these vines. Hopefully the fruits are sweet enough to enjoy because I do like my sweet squash. So that pretty much covers these raised beds. They're about Oh, I have no idea how long they are, but they're about four feet wide. They must go at least, at least 30 feet. They're not 30 feet, probably 50 feet. Um, scattered throughout over here, you'll see that there's amaranth and there's herbs and tomato plants even that are planted also quite, quite randomly. It's not a square foot gardening over here. Marigolds, of course, that look beautiful, absolutely beautiful. I'll have pictures of those on my blog. They're my nicest looking flower. Um, but these amaranth are very cool. The stem is very thick. I'll do a future video on these because there's not enough information on YouTube about those. So coming over here, these are the pine trees. There are three in my backyard. That is where I got the pine needles from. 
I have some pots here with kale that, I mean, it does all right, but in the heat it just doesn't thrive. Uh, Red Russian, dinosaur kale. I have, I built self-watering containers. I think they're only okay. Uh, I think just regular waterings most preferable. And while these are nice big containers, 18 gallons at full capacity, uh, the time required to make them just isn't worth it. So here's another little dinky raised bed. Um, I'll do a feature video on this later. This is just the basic tour. Surrounding our containers, these bigger, more 18 gallon self watering, lots of pots everywhere. Now this is my first video, so I hope the resolution's just okay. And you can see the little plants that are germinating here. There are okras, squashes, radishes, and a few other plants I started from transplants that Bonnie Plants provided that are growing too. Here you'll just see some more containers. I'm waiting on germination here. A scarlet runner bean, I believe that's what it is, just germinated here. And along with the pumpkin vines growing out in the raised bed, there are some pumpkin vines growing under these trees that you know, just random seeds basically of a pumpkin head I tossed over here. Just growing up on their own. Uh, after we had some heavy rain, they sprouted up and germinated. So, if I live here for another two months, I should be able to get some kind of harvest from them. Alright, there's only really two more parts of this garden. Um, compost piles, and back over there you'll see a worm bed too. Maybe I'll do a video on that eventually. So here's a circular raised bed um, in the style of John Kohler's raised beds that he has in his backyard. My mom bought this for like $10 also at Walmart, uh, although that was a long time ago. And the soil in it is still some soil that she put in there, so it's not exactly high quality stuff. And it's heavily mulched with paper. So this paper may be quite glaring on the videos, and it, it is in real life too. It's as white as snow basically, but it's nice. Um, random stuff, don't know what it is, growing in the three pots to the left. I think there's purslane growing in one of them. And then uh, another bean plant. This is the most, second most progressed bean plant. I believe it's cowpea also. An amaranth in that pot. And I'll show you some last containers of more fun stuff that we're growing. Uh, by the way, this is New Mexico Zone 8B. Uh, the weather here is quite nice, but it does snow in the winter time, so it's not tropic, it's arid, but it does get below freezing quite often for quite a long time. But we have a long, long growing season. It's very nice. Here is a sweet potato in a container. A little banana. I started from a pup. I believe they're called pups from bananas, I'm not sure. Here's the original banana plant I bought from Home Depot. That was kind of cool. Um, Lemons, two lemon trees I started from seed. Those are so easy to start. Mystery plant, I believe it may be grapefruit. And a nice mango tree, also started from a store-bought fruit. Really, the mango and the lemons are so easy to start from seed. I really do advise it if you're looking for a house plant because the mango looks absolutely fantastic. And just some kind of crappy house plant my parents bought from Home Depot. Oh, I suppose there's one more thing. Well, there's a big old pollinating um, semi-tree, bushy type plant. I don't know its name. It's been in our house for a very long time now. Some uh, like volcano grasses, some palms, and then a nopal plant. It's very nice. I like to eat the nopal fruit a lot, but you know, the cactus pads are fine with me too. I just hate the despining process. So, I believe this will conclude the video. I'll do a turn around real quick, focus in on myself. So, this is Matt McNeil with So Red. I really can't promise you what will be coming in the future. There are plans for my parents to move, and I have to go back to a crappy apartment and live there. I can do some growing indoors. Um, However, my indoor space is quite limited to a bedroom and a little space in a living room. Uh, so, 
I'll try to get in as many videos as I can. I'll get a wireless mic, hopefully, and this will turn into a decent video series. I hope. Anyways, I'll show you my two dogs so they don't come as a surprise ever in these videos. And that's Lola. Hello, Lola. And Tori. Hello. All right. That's it, YouTube. Quick panorama. Raise beds. Raise beds. Raise bed. All right. Signing off. Matt McNeil.